How do I know what is good for me? Lord, only your will. Only your will. And we have studied earlier also, the Father knows what we need before we ask. But do we know what is our need? No. That's the problem. We imagine that's our need. Nothing we ask is our need actually. What did the Father know our need is? Our need is restoration of our relationship with Him. So without my asking, Father sent His only begotten Son to the earth. That was given without my asking. The greatest gift. And in Colossians we read, In Him you are complete. In Him you are complete. We used to tell the villagers some stories to make them understand. There was a very rich man. He had only one son. He was abroad. For many years, the father became sick, but he had a faithful manager. So before his death, he wrote a will. And he wrote everything in that manager's name. He had estates, he had houses, he had bank balance, he has gold deposits. But he put one clause. If my son comes and asks, one thing, you can give him one thing. When the son came, saw the will, he was so upset. If I ask for the estate, I will get only the estate, nothing else. If I ask for the gold deposits, nothing else I will get. He was so perplexed. Then he asked one thing, he got everything. He asked the manager, make me your son. <laughs> I want to be your son. And he got all the wealth. <laughs> Everything. So when we become children of God, do you know the inheritance of saints in Christ Jesus? Oh. Maybe while having everything plenty, when you go out, you may ask for one chewing gum or something. God will say, okay, take chewing gum. <laughs> so, are you satisfied in Him? Do you know you are complete in Him? Do you believe it? 